Hi guys, and welcome back to the Apacer channel. My name is Ben, and today we are going to be teaching you the differences between using a CF Express card and an SD card with a Canon EOS R5 camera. A CF Express card is an absolutely positively 100% necessary piece of hardware when it comes to shooting 8K video in 2021 or shooting 4K video at 120 FPS or taking lots of photos in rapid succession. However, if you're just fine with shooting full HD video, an SD card is more than ample for that purpose. Right in front of us, we have two of the same exact model of camera. That is the Canon EOS R5. But on the left one, we have 35 millimeter lens as well as an SD card inside the machine. On our right camera, what we have is a 24 to 105 millimeter lens and a CF Express card inside. Earlier, we were doing some internal tests to figure out which one had faster reading and writing speed. And well, I think it goes without saying that our CF Express card came out much, much faster. So on the left here, you can see that the Canon EOS R5 with the SD card inside is generally speaking, having a very difficult time keeping up with our Canon EOS R5 on the right. And the reason put very bluntly is that the CF Express is just better in every way. It can read faster, it can write faster than your standard SD card in 2021. All right, so let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of CF Express cards and SD cards. SD cards cannot shoot 8K. They can shoot 4K video, but not 4K video at 120 FPS, AKA slow motion. When it comes to continuous shooting with SD cards, they just can't keep up. They can do it, but they can't go as fast as CF Express cards. At best, an SD card might be suited for shooting portraits or some videos, but to make the best of all higher-end cameras in this day and age, a CF Express card is the way to go. Especially if you are shooting sports events and you need to take lots of photos of fast-paced action. Last but not least, with many cameras, including the Canon EOS R5, you can use the SD card as a backup memory source. That is to say, you can plug in both a CF Express card and an SD card into your Canon EOS R5, and one will record backup media that the other is shooting when and where possible. SD cards are capable of shooting 4K video, but they are not capable of shooting 4K 120 FPS video. And now you know the advantages of CF Express versus SD cards. Some competing manufacturers' CF Express cards have issues that do not allow them to write to full or suffer a video playback issue. Both of these issues could come from simple compatibility issues with the Canon EOS R5, but they could also come from the Canon EOS R5's well-known overheating issue that we are here demonstrating for you right now. If you are shooting 8K video for a full 25 minutes on your R5, it will overheat and automatically shut down. This could cause damage to a CF Express card from another manufacturer, but from the test we have done here just for you guys, we were able to have both of our Canon EOS R5 cameras overheat and shut down consecutively without our own Apacer CF Express card taking any damage at all. In this demo, we let the Canon EOS R5 record 25 minutes straight on each of these cameras, and in the end, you can see video playback on our left camera without any issue whatsoever. Now, as you all are about to see, we were able to write to full on our CF Express card. The card stopped writing after it reached its full capacity, and as you all will soon see, we can fast forward to just about any time in the last video that we recorded, which takes up the grand majority of free space in the CF Express card, thus proving what we've told you all to this point in time. So in conclusion, if you are in a situation where you have the choice of using a CF Express card or an SD card, then CF Express cards hold the advantage of being able to record 8K video and 4K video at 120 FPS, AKA slow motion, while simultaneously being able to deliver lots of photos in rapid succession, especially when compared to an SD card. If you guys thought this video was helpful, make sure you guys leave us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And if you guys think you'll be back for more videos from us, make sure you subscribe to the Apacer channel. My name is Ben and we will see you all in the next one.